students myself dr naresh tambe uh, i am from idol university of mumbai i am a professor of psychology uh, you all are in lockdown you all are in lockdown and i am sure that all are all are uh, healthy and uh, all are safe okay now here uh, many of you have requested me to uh, make lecture on statistics chapter statistics so i have decided to make a small two videos on statistics okay uh, here what statistics why statistics is there to learn we have to first understand but before that let me uh, again talk in marathi hello vidyarthi mitranno apan sage lockdown madhe aho ani mala ashi asha hai mala khatri hai ki sage tumhi safe asal ani gharamadhe basun abhyas pan enjoy karta asal ashi mala asha hai baryashya mulani mala statistics aur lecture banavne sathi request keli ahe sangitla ahe tar ha chota sa ek video mi tumcha sathi statistics par banavta ahe now let's understand first what is statistics okay i'll read some definitions are there i'll read for you okay so statistics what it is a branch of mathematics concerned with the collection and interpretation of numerical data all right so it is what it's a branch of mathematics which concerned with the numerical data all right hmm? uh, which for which the data which are got we have to uh, do the interpretation of it uh we have to uh, do the analysis of it and for which we use a statistics all right i say in marathi statistics manje kya sa definition kya ahe tar hi ek mathematics chi ganitach ek branch hai shakha hai jate na aplya jo numerical data aplya jo milat asto tyas apan interpretation karat asto tyachat apan vegya prakar se analysis karat asto thik hai ha hmm so mak acha mate statistics there is statistical analysis is one term we have to understand now what does it mean statistical analysis means what so whatever numerical data uh, a researcher get okay he has to interpret whether the data is correlating with some other data or which which can see that whether this data is we can can we compare with some other data numerical data okay so to compare or to correlate there is a statistical techniques we can call it as a uh, t test we can call it as anova we can call it as correlation okay so there are some statistical techniques which we use to see or to interpret the data for that we can call it as statistical analysis marathi sangto statistical analysis manje kay ki aplyala jo data milalela asto jo numerical data asto jo number form madhe asto ya data cha apan kutlya tari vegya numerical data sobhar आपण त्यासोबत काय करतो कंपॅरिझन करतो तुलना करू शकतो किंवा त्याचा आपण दुसऱ्या एखाद्या डेटा सोबत आपण त्याचा सहसंबंध बघू शकतो तर हे पाहण्यासाठी आपण स्टॅटिस्टिक्स वापरतो ते म्हणजे कोरलेशन स्टॅटिस्टिक असू शकतं टी टेस्ट असू शकतं किंवा अॅनोवा असू शकतं ठीक आहे तर या सगळ्या टेक्निक्स वापरून आपण त्या डेटाला इंटरप्रिट करत असतो त्याला आपण स्टॅटिस्टिकल अनालिसिस असं म्हणायचं आता याच्यामध्ये डिस्क्रिप्टिव्ह स्टॅटिस्टिक्स हे जे पर्टिक्युलर गोष्ट आहे जी मला बऱ्याचशा मुलांनी मेन ऑफ यू हॅव रिक्वेस्ट दॅट टीचर्स फ्रिक्वेन्सी डिस्ट्रीब्युशन सो फ्रिक्वेन्सी डिस्ट्रीब्युशन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ डिस्क्रिप्टिव्ह स्टॅटिस्टिक्स ओके न वॉट इज डिस्क्रिप्टिव्ह स्टॅटिस्टिक्स अंडरस्टँड इट इज अ वे ऑफ ऑर्गनायझिंग नंबर्स अँड समरायझिंग देम सो दॅट दे कॅन बी अंडरस्टूड इट इज सिम्पल डेफिनेशन गिवन इन बुक वॉट इट इज इट इज अ वे ऑफ ऑर्गनायझिंग नंबर्स and summarizing them so that they can be understood okay so this is the definition of descriptive statistics now we have we all are concerned about frequency distribution now here in this video i will teach what is frequency distribution how to do it okay first understand what is frequency distribution now frequency distribution is a method of classifying and organizing data in some meaningful way what is frequency distribution is the method of classifying and organizing data in some meaningful way so it is a method of classifying of organizing data in meaningful way hmm? what is frequency distribution the frequency distribution manje hi ek method ahe jacha aadhare tumhala milalela data vyavasthit rita classify karta yeto organize karta yeto ya paddhatila apan frequency distribution manach okay now there is two term one is called uh, histogram and another is polygon now these are nothing but graph histogram is a graph and polygon is a graph i'll show you a picture of it you can see that so basically 
you can see here histogram is basically a bar graph can you see this in this picture huh so it is a bar graph all right frequency histogram is a bar graph and frequency polygon is the line graph if you can see this okay hmm? so this is the line graph how to make it and all for that first we have to do the frequency distribution table hmm? uh frequency distribution table once we make it then we can make it histogram as well as polygon okay now i will show you here only instead of using this slide i can show you this you can see you can see now there is one example you can see here this is the a marks out of 10 of 30 students okay can you see here hm huh so 30 students see carefully the marks is given out of 10 of 30 students this data you have got hm now data you can see you can see this data 4 1 0 0 1 2 2 0 3 4 2 one 2 2 1 3 3 4 2 1 2 2 1 3 2 0 3 4 4 2 1 2 5 1 5 6 7 okay so this is the data total if you see 30 students are there and these are their marks out of 10 now this data we get now we have to make a frequency table of frequency distribution so for that we have to make such kind of three columns now see here ha huh? okay see here three columns one is the marks column then tally tally bar and then frequency okay now this data we have to observe and after observing this data we have to make this table okay so zero marks one marks two marks three marks four marks five marks six marks and seven marks so we have to see minimum marks and we have to see maximum marks from this data so minimum marks is zero and maximum marks is seven after seven no marks is there you can observe so that's why seven is here now we have to make tally okay now how to do tally zero marks from this data observe how many students got zero marks so if we see 1 2 3 and four students and no other so four students if four students got zero marks then you have to make four tally bar here 1 2 3 and 4 and you have to write frequency frequency how many time this zero coming so zero coming frequently four times so frequency is 4 all right similarly you see the two how many students have got two marks if you see this if you observe this you will see that total number of students who got one marks are six students so we are making here six tally bar 1 2 3 4 after four if fifth one is there we have to make cross line it means five students and then six so frequency is six so similarly we have made for all this three all these three uh, columns and then we are totaling it so this total and this total if coming right exactly same then our frequency table is perfect i'll discuss this in marathi again vidyarthi mitranno neat baka he 10 paiki eka pariksha madhe 10 marka cha pariksha madhe 30 mulanna 10 paiki kiti marks bhetle tacha ha data ahe तो या डेटा अनुसरण या डेटा अनुसरण अपन हा फ्रिक्वी टेबल बनार आहोत ये मार्क्स टैल्यू बार ज्यादा मराठी ताड़ खुणा से मनत फ्रिक्वी मे वारंवारता मनत ठीक है तो आता बगा ये कि शून्य मार्क्स कि भेटले तुम्हें बहू शकता हम चार लोकान भेटले चार ताड़ खुणा के इक चार वे लिखल फ्रिक्वी वारंवारता मे कि वे आल तो चार वे आल चार लिखल नंतर एक कि जनना भेट लगे एक सहा जनना भेट लुम्हे ऑब्जर्व कराए सहा जनना भेट लग एक दोन तीन चार पांचवे तो अपन क्रॉस करते मग सहा मग सहा लिख तो अशा प्रकार सग डेटा लिखा और हे टोटल के लिए कि टोटल बरबर ही टोटल ही टोटल सेम आई पाजे हि टोटल कुछ लिखी है हे टोटल स्टूडेंट्स तीस टोटल बरबर तीस जा टेबल बरबर परफेक्टली मैच जाऊया सो दिस वे वी हेव मेड फ्रिक्वी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल All right. Now we have to make a histogram and polygon. Now you have made this frequency table. On that basis only we have to make now frequency histogram. So histogram. This is the histogram called bar graph. 
where we have to make this x and y axis where 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 because out of 10 marks hmm? now here students how many marks they have got so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 we have mentioned 0 marks how many students got 0 marks 0 marks kiti jana mile 4 people so 4 we have made 4 here 1 6 students then we can uh, cross check that huh? 2 marks how many students got 2 marks 8 students got 2 marks so till 8 we have did okay then 3 marks similarly how many marks accordingly we have to do this okay and now this is the bar graph now see the frequency polygon which is line graph same you have to make x and y axis same thing and same thing here only here we have to make the line so 0 marks 4 students 1 mark 6 students 7 6 students uh, uh, 2 marks 8 students so you have to make the dot you have to make dot as per the marks they have got and just join it all well, okay hmm? i'll discuss this in marathi histogram madhe apan kay kela hai ha bar graph hai yacha madhe apan kay kela hai yacha madhe kay kela hai apan ki shunya mark kithe na betla hai ta char jana na mate asha prakar cha apan bar banavla don ek mark kithe na betla sah jana na mate cha apan graph kela the two marks are jana betle apan tacha graph kela asha prakar tacha apan bar banavle ani polygon madhe apan same kela hai fakt apan polygon madhe kay kela hai line graph banavla hai bar graph nahi he same banavla hai shunya marks 4 janana 1 marks 6 janana 2 marks 8 jana apan te points tacha pude lihele ahet ani mag te points apan join kelele ahet so asha prakare apan he frequency distribution cha lecture apan ghetlela ahat i hope you have understood uh, now other things are there uh, standard deviation is there, Z score is there, other things I'll discuss in uh, another video. Thank you so much.